Hoi, mijn naam is Deke Gans en ik voel me heel uncomfortable right now. Speaking in front of a camera is not my thing. Absolutely not. We started up a video campaign called You Decide Our Content. And the replies and the suggestions that we got, that we received by email and personal messengers, it was fantastic. Thank you so much for the long emails and the conversations we had on Messenger. You helped me so much to uh, realize and to understand what you guys really want to see. And I found out that you love tips and tricks, that you love the adventure part of fishing, that you love the passion and the nature and everything that comes with it. And now it's up to me, up to us, up to ProLine to make a nice combination of all of this. Be creative and do it a little bit different than all the other companies. So that's why we came up with the first video and the first video is called Five Carp Fishing Hacks. First carp fishing hack that we got for you is a drone. A drone is so popular amongst carp anglers and you see so many drones around, everybody loves it and I understand man, it's easier than, than flying a helicopter and you can make nice footage with it, but why is a drone a carp fishing hack? Why did we decide that a drone is a carp fishing hack? Well, that's because you can localize carp and potential hotspots in a way you can't do without a drone. So you know where the carp are, what they are doing, how the water looks like, you can see depth differences, structures, obstacles and of course shoot some nice footage. You have some nice affordable drones these days like the DJI Spark, costs only 300 euros. So think twice before you buy new rods. Buying a drone might actually help you to catch more carp. Carp fishing hack 2. A 5 kilo startup for big carp. We all know the pre-baiting helps you to catch more carp, but you don't need that much bait to target the big fish. We also know that baiting a lot of bait is expensive, so that's why we have the bulk deals. 50 kilos of boilies for 250 to 300 euros, depending on what kind of flavor you want. But what about the 5 kilo starter for big carp? I learned this in France when I was fishing with Thomas, a friend of mine and uh, he also works at ProLine. He said to me every time when I go to a lake I have this 5 kilo starter bucket and in this bucket I do uh, boilies, uh, tiger nuts, stick mix, liquid and I just mix it all up and then I have the perfect bucket to get things going. It can be rewarding to bait 5 kilo of a high protein boilie a day or 12 hours before you go fishing. If you decide to use a boilie with eggshells in it, like the NG Squid, there will be a crunch effect. Carp like this structure and the crunch sound will activate other carp to start feeding as well. Carp Fishing Act 3, become one with your boat. It's so important that you, you become one with your boat because your boat is your best friend man. You gotta have deep conversations with him, you gotta take him out for dinner and build up a nice relationship. Next to building up a nice relationship with your boat and using it a lot of times and you also got to be honest to yourself, is this the right boat for me? Because before I used a very big boat, it was very heavy and every time when I saw the boat I saw a huge obstacle. That's when I found out a light and compact boat has all the personalities to become my best friend. And right now I'm in a relationship with my lightweight commando boat and things are getting on there man. And you gotta prepare your boat. You gotta make sure that when you get in there, when you get in the boat, you, you, you're gone as quickly as possible. That's why we use special clip-on buoys. You just click, click and get out there. Car fishing hack four, the Windy app. There are so many weather apps out there on the market and I've used all of them. I mean, all of them. Because I'm obsessed with the weather. When the weather is changing, you got like a high air pressure going down and there's a full moon and you have some big wind and rain and thunder and everything. You just gotta skip every single fucking thing you gotta do the next day and go fishing. And for this you need like a really good app. And yeah, my heart started beating faster when a friend of mine, he's a surfer, he said to me, man, you gotta use the Windy app. And I installed it and I was mind blown by all the features and all the things you can do with a free app. I mean, go to the app store, do the Android market, the Play Store, the how they call it these days, I don't give a shit, just download it. Car Fishing Hack 5, a sprotting stick. I had to google this word because in Dutch it means prikstok, 
And if you translate it exactly to English, it will mean poke stick. And I couldn't imagine that poke stick wasn't the exact word for sprouting stick. A sprouting stick is an old but often forgotten trick. I mean, it's the best way to discover your spot, to feel if it's sandy, there are big rocks or small rocks, there are trees on the water, weed, mussels, hard, soft, muddy, you can feel everything with this stick. And sometimes I even forget to bring it, you know, and then I am fishing and I'm like, oh shit, did I feel the bottom? No, I reel all the rods in and then I go out there again with the boat to feel with a uh, sprouting stick. And once I find like the, the perfect clean spot for my bait and I drop my bait on it, I put the sprouting stick, if possible, right in the water so I can drop my rig exactly next to it. Then I go back to my spot, put the rod on the, on the rod pot, and then I feel much more confident. And eventually we have a bonus hack. And I will say only one thing, just go to the pet store and buy a little dog. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the replies and the suggestions that you gave us. You really helped me out and I'm still feeling very uncomfortable by doing this, but I hope this will get less, you know, in the future. And let me know if it was good enough, if I should do something different next time, just drop a comment below or not, or just do whatever the fuck you want to do. Do it.